I didn't care that he was writing. I knew where he was. He was right there in that bedroom with the lights on, with me trying to sleep and a little bitty baby in the baby bed next to us with him, you know, at his typewriter writing. So I knew where he was. I could sleep, but when he's not there, I wonder where he was, what he was doing. He's usually out at a bar. There's so much material in there. Yeah, that's what he says. But that's that's what I've been around and what I'm what I'm still around. It's it's one of the things that I, I know the best. I'm sure that's where most of his stories come from. Sitting at a bar. The slimier the better, you know. The way I do, I kinda I go to a bar for a while. Then when I leave that bar, I don't, I don't go back no more. I just kind of move around. And in, in, in the case of Opals, it got to be the damn level of humanity coming in the damn place was too bad to put up with. I mean, it got to where he was having shootings and stabbings. Some dude walked in there. One day, somebody whipped him the night before, and he brought in the damn 30-30 and let off a round right through the middle of the damn bar there. And, uh, it just, it just got to be too damn rough for me. I mean, I, when, I, when I go out, I'm not looking for no damn trouble or somebody stick a knife in my face. I want to have a few drinks, you know, and have a good time. All this fighting bullshit, that's... So I, I started Opals, then I went to Ireland's where some more of my stories were set and a lot of the stuff and on fire and set. And then I went to City Grocery, and I'm still at City Grocery now. So it's just like a natural thing for me to put a story on in a bar because that's where I spend so much of my life at in a bar. <laughs>